All right, guys, we're gonna just uh, go over some measurements and how to get some angles using your pencil. All right, so uh, this is my, my um, mock-up over here and this is my actual drawing. So I'm gonna take my measurements with my pencil over here. I'm gonna use the end of the eraser and use my finger to slide down uh, the distance, okay? So to start off on this, what I would uh, want you to do is go ahead and measure um, the grid. And this paper is eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna go uh, over five and a half inches and up four and one quarter, make your um, intersection there. So a um, couple different ways people would start this. I think probably the easiest way is to break this up into four sections, okay? You're gonna draw this section, and then you're gonna draw this section, and you're gonna draw this section, and then this section. It doesn't really matter what order you draw it in, um, but you wanna really focus in on a section. So for example, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure from the center of the grid out to the end here, or the edge of the pair, okay, right on that line. Then I'm gonna bring that measurement over. I'm gonna use another pencil so I can get a good line here, and approximately right there. So that measurement equals that measurement, okay? Now I'm gonna go up to the, the edge here, okay? Then I'm gonna go down to here, so right about. Bring it over. There's my mark at the top. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and measure it all out if you want to. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go, um, maybe do a measurement over here. And then a measurement down here. All right, so I have my, my little ticks here, and now I just sort of fit the pair within those marks. Some artists will go ahead and like draw an ellipse here and then start to finesse the actual shape, and that's fine. Um, other artists will just draw each individual portion of that, okay? Now, if you need more, you could uh, go ahead and measure from maybe here to here. Um, other parts to see how thick this is. So maybe right in the middle here. Do that again. Had the wrong hand on it. All right. All right. And maybe one more, right here where it dips in. It's about the thickness of that eraser. All 
All right. So now what I'm going to do is try to figure out the angle. So if this is 90 degrees straight up and down, you know, I'm going to try to figure out how this pair is sitting. So I'm just going to gauge it. So I think like right in there. And what some people like to do is like they like to put a line there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it was right about in there. So I know my pair is sort of sitting like that. All right. So now I'm just going to start to get this pair in. All right. So I know it comes out to here. All right. And then I see that it comes down and then back out. All right. Just a rough, rough sketch indication of where that line goes. Okay. Now down here, I'll go ahead. Starts to come up. So just a sketch line there. All right, here. Starts to come down in there. Goes all the way out to there. And it goes down. And then just a little bit more. Like that. And then I finish up. Okay, let's see. So I know that if I go across here, that that stem from here to here, I don't know if you can see that, but from here to here, it's just off to the left of the middle. So I just sort of eyeball, so here's where it probably comes up. Now how big is that stem? So I'm gonna go here to that part of the eraser. So that's about the top of it right there. Not gonna worry too much about the shape right now. Just worrying about getting the sketch in properly. Okay, so I think I got this sketch the way I want it. Now I come in and I fine tune the shape a little bit, okay? So I know this comes a little bit more. I'm making it a little bit darker also. Just trying to smooth out the shape a little bit. I think that comes out just a hair more. Thinner there, and it goes a little bit thicker here. Erase some of these loose lines. Erase my angle here. Sort of uh, the erasing is the reason you're going to uh, draw so lightly to begin with so it erases pretty easily in the end if you draw dark to begin with it's a lot harder to erase so i got my pair there hopefully it's in proportion for the most part 
and draw in the way I want it to. Okay, so this is a, a good basic step into drawing something off of another piece of paper or a photograph, um, a couple uh, things you can use, some techniques you can use, measuring from the middle to some of those edges, okay? Putting little tick marks, um, also trying to figure out the angles, okay? I could have figured out the angle of this edge if I wanted to, um, this edge, definitely the whole pair. Um, and then trying to fit that into your tick marks by just lightly sketching and then going back and refining the shape and then going back and refining it again. I would probably refine that one more time to get uh, a smooth line instead of uh, this sketchy feel to it. All right, hope that helps.